are playing Halo 1. Well, this isn't Halo 1, this is the uh, options screen of the Master Chief collection. But but Halo 1 is contained within this package. Um, it's, it's there. We're going to play it. You're going to watch, or either that or you're going to click off the video. Either one is, broadly speaking, acceptable. I wouldn't watch my videos, Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, Halo. Pachow, let's go, baby. Cortana, all I need to know is did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. Now I am going to switch it to the classic mode once I've watched this cutscene. I think I'm the only person in the world that doesn't mind it, but I don't mind the anniversary look. I don't know, I don't mind it. I think it looks alright. I, I say, over the least flattering shot in the franchise's history. That's the Halo Reach models, because this anniversary edition was cobbled together in a week. But it makes sense, right? They've come straight from Reach. Of course everything would still look like this. It makes perfect sense. It's amazing 20th Century Fox let this slide, because it's such a blatant Aliens ripoff. I mean, Sergeant Johnson is just the sergeant from Aliens. Oh, that, oh, I was saying I like the look of the anniversary version, that guy's face. Mm. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five! Why is he in a little uh, case thing? It's probably in one of the books. Uh, switch. There we go. The game looks worse now, as it should. Oh. He's fine. He's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, he's fine. They're fine. Through the door. She was very purple in the first game, wasn't she? Oh god, those teeth. Who does he look like? He looks like someone, and I don't know who, and it's gonna bug me. Oh, his, his pipe has a marathon symbol on it. Something I always thought, I thought it when I was seven years old playing this game for the first time. He's wearing a jumpsuit. That is just, that is just a tracksuit. Looks like the outfit Roger Moore wears in A View to a Kill. Maybe that's who he reminds me of, he looks a bit like Roger Moore. I mean, not much like Roger Moore. Oh, another marathon symbol on his, on his, uh, chest. Hmm. Your architecture isn't much different from the autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. If that's a dick reference, I don't get it. I don't keep it loaded, son. Well, that's fucking dumb. Uh, find ammo as I go, huh? Well, let's just turn this corner. Go through here. Oh, what do you know? There was ammo on the floor right outside the bridge. What kind of operation is this guy running? Oh, and there's just a whopping great assault rifle. Five meters from the ammo clip they apparently keep on the floor. Cool. Pow, there we go. This is a bizarre layout for a ship. Why is the mess hall next to the bridge? And why is it like five meters from the airlocks as well? A lot of things that don't make sense about the ship that really don't occur to you when you're seven. Punch this guy, there we go. He's nice and dead. Ah! Oh, they're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, get fucked. Punch this guy in the back. Oh, miss. That's fine. I'll punch him in the face. That's perfectly serviceable. Okay, I'll just shoot him instead. Whatever works. Whatever works. Oh, he's fucked. Don't run over to me. Oh, did he stick me? He stuck me? He stuck me, didn't he? No. Okay. He stuck that guy, though. I'm fine with that. I don't give a fuck about that guy. Ah, now have they fixed this in the PC version? Yet. No, it's still fucked. Excellent. That's meant to change colour as you shoot it. They're fixing that at some point, apparently. This game should be a time capsule, and the fact that it doesn't do the thing it did at first ain't no good. That was a hell of a sentence that I completely lost track of halfway through. Uh, okay, one of these guys had a more good uh, plasma rifle. Uh, it was this. That's the grenade button. Through this way, and I have looped. Excellent. Get used to that because uh, Halo is the official game of getting lost in space corridors. I love this franchise up to a point, but even I can admit that y you just loop on yourself constantly. Uh, stairs, the one staircase on this like three kilometer long spaceship, and it's this way. Good. We are finally recording, we're actually recording, we're actually playing Halo. We're gonna play Halo now. Jesus Christ, okay. This staircase got me stuck on this game for hours. I uh, tried a legendary playthrough when I was about 10, maybe 11, and I could not get past this uh, this this staircase because of these elites. Oh, there we go. Punched him off a cliff. It, it's more of a ledge. There should be a railing here. Frankly, this little hazard stripe here won't do the job. You, you need a railing. Someone is going to be doop 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 going about my job on the pillar of autumn, da ba da ba da, evacuating reach very quickly. Oh, I've fallen off. Do a little better, uh, UNSC. You've got your illegal genetic experimentation programs and a blatant OSHA violation. 
It's not looking up for you guys. Okay, dead people, dead people, dead people. Now watch this, watch this. This is the bug they've preserved. This elite can no longer see me. Doesn't have a clue where I am because I am technically behind a wall. Uh, he does not know I'm here. That's a bug. I'm happy they preserved because I feel like fixing it too far would kind of take away some of the DNA of Halo and, and these things need to be preserved and loved. But we are going to come out from corner and we are going to lob a grenade at him. We missed, but that's fine. Oh, killed something. Very casual stance. He's just, uh... He's just counting down the minutes until there's a lunch break. Look at him there. Hello. The Covenant are destroying the life pods. They really don't want us on that ring. I wonder why they don't want us on that ring. Could it be the entire point of the game? I think it could be. Ooh, scary music sting. I remember this corridor scared the shit out of me when I was seven. This is just a random dark corridor. For some reason. Pa pow Ah, fools. They haven't programmed glass breaking physics into games yet. Source engine won't be out for another three years. Can I get this guy from here? That's the million dollar question. Fuck yeah I can. Bloody hell, I didn't kill him that hard. Ah. Oh bloody hell. Alright, go through this scary door. That's how we do it where I come from. You come from space. The damage to the superstructure is extensive. Yeah, wow, well, this ship really looks like it's in tatters. Oh, this this uh, cylinder has fallen over. Oh, what a travesty. What a bloody travesty. One last lifeboat. Quickly, get aboard before it launches. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, wait, where am I? Is it this way? It is this way. <laughs> We're gonna make it, aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Well, look at it this way. The one that weighs 900 pounds is the only one not wearing a seatbelt. Sure you wouldn't rather take a seat? You really should take a seat. You are going to be explicitly be the reason all these marines die. Yeah, so this is the moment. Da da da, it's just a corridor shooter. Oh, wait a minute. This game opens up. Wow. Now you might be wondering, hey, didn't Unreal do exactly the same thing three years earlier? And the answer is, from an objective point of view, yes. But here's my counter-argument. Halo's better, so shut up. We must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. It's a damn fine suggestion. That's great. Great driving. Uh, hey, what do we have near? What do we have near? What? What do we have here? It's the Needler, uh, a weapon they've spent the entire franchise trying to figure out how to balance. Same with the same with the pistol, really, and the plasma pistol as well as the regular pistol. Basically, every weapon that is like recurring in this franchise, they've never had any idea how to balance them. But I mean, you've got to love the Needler, right? Especially in Halo 2, when basically you picked up two Needlers in the multiplayer and you, you just win. That's it. You don't need to play the game anymore. You've won. Just roll credits. Oh, piss. Can I get him from here? God damn right I can. What am I doing? What am I doing here? I've forgotten. Doesn't the car get dropped off round about now? Oh, there's still wrong over here. Good. Where are the wrong -uns? Oh, yep, I hear wrong -uns. Oh shit, that was one of my guys. Anyone still alive? I know I killed one of you, but uh, alright. Take this, you vagabond. My gun is out of ammo and the needle doesn't work on these guys. Oh, needle, 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 needle. There we go. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, yep, I am totally out of ammo. Classic Halo trope. Oh, no longer out of ammo. Hang over over, ladies and gentlemen. We're back into the fray. All the bullets just bounce off these mother... Fuck. Uh, fun fact about Jackals. One second, uh, Echo 419. Fun fact about Jackals. One, his arm's fucked up. Two, they're not technically part of the Covenant. They're just mercenaries for hire. That is a Halo fact, I know. All right, here we go. One of the... F oh, fuck, that's the wrong button. How do I get in the car? E. Good. There we go. Okay. Just look at that. Oh, it drifts everywhere. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, swing it around. Swing it around. And one more time. Swing it around. And on we go into these bits here. Master Chief, I'm yep. going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. Well, all right, but just put the seat back to how it was. All right, you know, we're going to stop here, and I'm going to tell you about why this corridor is a great example of why this game is fantastic. Because these corridors... This is just kind of quiet and massive and you're just left to wonder what is this? Who built this? How did they build this? It's wonderful. It's mysterious and quiet and there's not three other Spartans babbling quips over you. You just appreciate the atmosphere and it's great. And then it gets to Halo 4 and we actually see the people that did build it and they're just kind of like weird noseless ape people. Whereas we are our nose full ape people. I'm sorry, which Forerunner architect came up with that decision, right? Okay, we're going to build a big space corridor. It's going to have a massive gap in it so we control everyone. They're going to go up this cliff. They're going to be out of breath from going up like a 45 degree incline. And they're just going to fall off the cliff. It's going to be hilarious. And that man went on to be the didact. Wahey! What's that? 
What's that? It's a fucking grenade. You've just evacuated Reach. You should know what a fucking grenade looks like. There we go. And now he explodes. Thank you. Does he have good gun? He does. Doom was only eight years old when this came out. That's insane to think. So you feel a lot of the design philosophy of Doom and Quake, you know, still in this game. Really stop and think about this. This game was a contemporary of Doom. Okay. D Doom was to this game what, like, I don't know, like Mass Effect 3 was to us in Space Year 2021. Does that make any sense? No? Who cares? We can find Captain Keys and the other survivors. We have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. Well, until the Fudge show up and they all get killed anyway, but yes. Now, by today's standards, sure, it's a little on the barren side, but I don't know, I just like big spaces to explore. Things don't necessarily have to have things in them, they just have to be good and stuff. Put that on a shirt. Where am I going? Ah. Convenient lights that are there for really no reason. Oh, also, this level is what Halo Infinite is going to be modelled after. Big-ish, semi-open-ish worlds, uh, and you just do shit in whatever order you want. That sounds good to me. Hopefully, Halo Infinite is not a massive letdown, but uh, this is the same company that made Halo 5, so I am sceptical. Oh, and... Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, oh, hello. Oh, okay. Car's stuck. So we'll leave the car here. Uh, Barry, you can man that gun. Good luck to you. You will need it because your uh, chances of survival, they're not high. Oh, there's a wrong end. Hurry up and explode. Want some more of this? There we go. I'm not being unreasonable. I just want him exploded. I'm actually doing quite well in this bit because usually by this point in the level, all the Marines are dead and Cortana's nagging at me. Oh, you didn't save any of the Marines. Oh, you didn't help either. Hello, jumping over here, don't want to get shot to death, sod off you jackal bastard. Do you know what he's saying right now? He's going, ah! That's the noise he's making, he's going, ah! Ah! That's, uh, that's what he's doing. Uh, his name is Frank. Right, where is everyone? Is there more things I have to shoot? Oh, there's a badon. That, that's to say there is a badon, not there is a badon, the, uh, leader of the 13th Black Crusade. That would be absurd. We should make sure the area is clear of Covenant stragglers. I feel like they can probably take care of themselves. There's like eight of them and there's one elite over there. Uh, I wouldn't be the main character if I didn't have to do every bloody thing myself, though. There we go. Is that everyone? Echo four nine yes. Cortana. May I actually rescue we survivors? That's a rare them. treat. We usually all dead. I've spotted additional lifeboats in your area. That's the wrong button. Shit. Whoa! Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh. You know what, let's just go and get some more people killed. What the fuck is this nonsense? The bloody hell am I looking at? What? So, um... Why aren't they just using this? Oh, that, that solved it. Right, here's, a, here's a question for you, chat. Is this the only Halo game where the plasma rifle was good? I think it might be. It's alright in Halo 2. If you're dual wielding it, I guess the same can be said of three. As far as I'm concerned, four does not have a plasma rifle. I don't know what the hell that abomination is, but it is not a plasma rifle. Why is this guy just floating there? What is this all about? Is he going to do anything? Am I going to... Oh, hey, oh, and it's gone over. Cool. Come on, I mean, I will once this guy gets in the car. There we go. Oh, and... Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, this isn't... Uh, Oh, he's one of my guys. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. I always remember I do terribly when I actually try to drive the Warhog in this bit. Maybe I should just kind of get out and shoot things. What does this look like in the anniversary version? Quite nifty. Hmm, look at that. Neat. Oh, into the thing. Was that a shotgun? No, that's an elite. Fuck off. Thank you. Oh, I punched him so hard the graphics got 10 years better. All right, well, on with the space corridors. What's up this corridor? Is it the other end? Oh, it's a man. It was a man, he's dead now. I need some needles. Oh, there's a bastard. Covenant names are so on the nose, I'm surprised there isn't one just called a bastard. Stop following me, Red Elite. There we go. Ah. Oh, oh it's, there's some more mother clunges up on that. Can I get them from here? Oh, god damn it. Revolutionary for the time AI, dodging out of the way of the tax I do. That would have been bloody wonderful. Alas, wasn't to be. We can but mourn. Is he dead? He is dead. I've called for an evac. Marines! Assemble for evac! Pronto! Let's dance! Or you could just like get on the, the evac ship. Alrighty. Is this level over now? There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Alrighty. Bye. 